Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borak aka Mr. Frosty and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers Frostbite Scenario. In the previous episode we've managed to put data, free data containers on the trailer of the semi-truck that I have found in the research archive somewhere over there and today's episode what we're going to be doing we are most probably we are going to be facing some drones so i've loaded this semi truck on the elevator in the shaft and let's get going let's go upstairs it is still foggy but let's not worry about that it's all the time over here on the triton another planet that has been recently added to the game so let's go and let's see what we are facing and what we have to do what worries me is the fact that I've left my, I've left, well, I had to remove the wheel because I was stuck under the truck and I cannot place it anymore. Uh, so that kind of sucks, but still, no, not that big of a deal. Let's try and maneuver this huge truck whoop, uh, 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 out of there. Okay, okay, that's kind of awkward. I need to see where we are going. Okay. So that leads outside. We need to deliver the data containers over there. There is some light blinking in on the way, but I think we should wait till the morning because there's really no point of me going there if I don't see absolutely nothing. So the survival uh, uh, kit, kit I've left I've left with my old rover, so that kind of a suck. If I die, then I die, but there's one. Maybe I could use this and put it on my rover. Although this one is offline, so that most definitely kind of a sucks. I swear, I, I, it, it doesn't matter how much advance notice I gave to ROS security so they always find some excuses for making me wait to sign my cargo over to them. Now I have to keep uh, the rifles and magazines stored at some supply depot at the surface, which is colder than ever for at least 24 hours. Last 24 hours. The sooner I have Triton, I leave Triton the better. Arms supplier. So I guess we'll get some sort of a GPS marker for armory? Cool. Where is it? That's the observatory and the armory is 500 meters away, so not that bad. Although I have my lovely rifle and that's enough for me. Now, where the heck are we? I have absolutely no idea. Oh shit! Something was shooting at me, that's for sure. I'm gonna close those doors just in case. Because I have absolutely no idea what was that. Now, the question is why that survival kit is so fine? I'm gonna repair the, that window just because. Why is it offline? It looks okay, so... Elevators, pistons... There's a hydrogen tank, elevator lights, pistons... Hmm... Maybe I just can't turn it on? Duh! Okay, that looks much, much better. Now, in terms of visibility, great. At least I can see something, but what is shooting at me? Ouch. So the armor is shooting at me. I know where we are. Now I know everything. 
Yeah, I reckon I was somewhere over. This is the station and the entrance to the mine. Entrance to the mine shaft. It's over there. It's going to be really hard to get to that point. Actually, I don't think I will be able to do that. To get there on foot, at least. Now, only thing I can do is run and hide. Oh, crap. I got hit. Activate activation failed. Why? Okay, this is my spawn point just in case. But I need to put a metal to uh, put the pedal to the metal if I want to get those data containers out of there. Out of here. Now let me just see what else I can find in here. I could detach ah I could detach the trailer and then just leg for the armor, but I don't think we're gonna be doing that. Let's just GTFO while we can, while at least I can see the road. And just float it. I don't know if it's gonna be, if we can make it. In one piece. I think we are out of range. This is not good. This is not good. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. Where am I supposed to go? Let's try this route. Over here. That should work. Oh no 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 not enough friction. Not enough friction. Oh I guess we are way too heavy. Fortunately those turrets are good. But let's try and not roll over. That didn't go according to the plan. Yeah, me and my bad driving. Do I have any gyroscopes over here? Don't think so. Let me just go over here and check it out. Yeah, we do. Upside down doesn't seem to help. Okay then, so I've managed to get out of that sticky situation by digging a hole, using some pistons and so on and so on. And it is actually next day. I am really a bad driver. Uh, and now at least I can see where should I be going. So we are going through the armory because I have to 
go up there somehow so I need to get down there somehow I'm not gonna go there take the long route because I don't think there's gonna be any route whatsoever so without further ado let's get going and let's try not to roll over I have my turrets and if need be I hope that they will work just great I don't know if I have enough stopping power Although, wait, 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 because that armory, I don't know if there's gonna be anything else going on over there. Am I slowing down? No, I'm not. Uh, but I wanted to check the range on the turrets. Uh, Gatling turret, let's set range 600 meters, that should be all good. Right, let's get going. This is gonna be really awkward. I don't know how many turrets there's gonna be still over there, but we will pass it by. Oh man, it's gonna be really sketchy. I hope I just have enough of all the things that I need for the travel. Like... Um, ammo for my Gatling guns. Is this? I need to go there. That's another some sort of a installation over there. As I'm shooting at it, but I'm not taking any chances. I'm just going. Man, let's risk it for a biscuit. I don't know what the heck what that station is all about. I'm just going. I'm just putting metal, pedal to the metal and let's hope that I will have enough friction with five wheels instead of six. I don't know what that base over there in front of us is. Is it gonna be dangerous? Are there gonna be any missile launchers? Do I go there? Oh shit. Let's just try and get out of that rain. And hide somewhere down there. I don't know. This is really sketchy. Things are smoking. Ugh. Okay. I'm shooting at something. <laughs> what are these? My guns. What the heck is this thing? It's not a drill, that's for sure. Oh shit. We need to get up there somehow. Down there, I guess. Now, what is this place? It's upside down, O2 generator, hydrogen engine, good, and elevator. Now backing up with this beast is going to be a bit of a problem. But then if I would go down there, I should be able to go into the valley over there. I think that is the plan that I need to take. I'm really curious, what the heck is this place?
cargo container. Okay. Nothing special, but let me just have a look. Info, control panel, share all, small cargo. Ah! Let's just leave it as it is. I think I have enough. Of all the things that I need to complete my journey. I have my mm, reactors going. So it should be all good. Let me just back up a bit. Oh, no, 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 no. That doesn't sound right. This is going to be very sketchy. If I manage to pull it off. <laughs> then I am Borak the Great, Mr. Freeze. Down here somehow, somewhere. Yeah, I remember this place now. Let's not speed up too much. Because it's very easy to gain momentum and speed, but really hard to slow down. looks all flat but at the end of the day it might not be so flat at all I don't know if you can drift with a semi truck as this one <laughs> but as I said let's just hope that I will have enough power to pull this off and get myself up the... up the mountain. If not, then I will just increase the friction and, and strength of the wheel or wheels of the, or the power. Because I am actually slowing down and that makes me very, very worried. At this stage. And the question is... And it's getting more and more steep. So will I travel? Continue to travel with like 3 meters per second? Let's hope that not, that's not what's going to happen. But we are almost there. Look at that. 600 meters to the landing site where we need to go. It's gonna be all good. It's like walking a park at this stage. And all of a sudden, interceptor from space will show up, and I will be fucked up. Because they will start firing missile missiles as I travel 1.5 meters per second. <laughs> and that is a thing that might actually happen. Knowing my luck, but let's try and take easiest route. But the end of this route is very, very steep as far as I remember. Like to get to that station that I'm almost pointing right now. And doing that with five wheels is not a good thing to do. Right. Let's see what we can do if we can pull it off. The terrain is uneven and I cannot get a grip on, on my wheels. Let's just try and wiggle like a snake. Because if I stop, 
and I might be okay let's just let's just see what we can do with those wheels I'm gonna increase a bit of the power and the friction as well maybe that will help yeah look at that No, we're not. Right, let me just try and do different setups and maybe a little bit more wiggling and we shall see how it's gonna go. Stay there. Okay, so in my opinion going on the snow is the way to go because as I skid off towards the rocks it was much much harder for me to steer and towing uh, towing the trailer behind me wasn't such a great idea as well well I had to do that uh, nevertheless uh, the trailer was actually going on the rocks on the different elevation and that caused most of the troubles that I had but we are getting there we are arriving more or less safely the landing site all those containers have to be stashed there now it's going to be really difficult to skid through the gate Ugh. <laughs> I'm not going to fit that for fuck's sake not to mention that goddamn trailer that I have to take with me as well so that's the only reasonable thing that I see right now just to take off all those catwalks and Inventory such full. yeah at this stage I really don't give a crap about things that I have let's just try yeah those railings were really in the way oh shit stop shooting at whatever that is whoopsie uh oh oh man what's now am I stuck on something or just lost the grip I think I've just lost the grip of the tires I need to somehow Navigate or try to navigate myself like that. Yeah, that's more like it. Now it's going to be sketchy over here. Inventory full. Inventory full. Let's Inventory make some full. Now, Inventory those full. things have to go away. Will I fit on the design? No idea, but men's gotta do what men's gotta do. It was much easier to get in here with just a truck without a trailer. Ugh. Full. This is really Inventory ridiculous, full. you know. Inventory full. But that's okay. Inventory full. Inventory as long as I can destroy those things. Inventory full. I'm relatively satisfied with the outcome of the mission. Really? Ah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, that was part of a plan. It really was. Inventory full. Just some redecoration that has to be, has to be done. 
Are we going? Hello? What is stopping us? Oh yeah, parking brake. You have proved to be very efficient in completing your task. But we must eliminate all evidence of the ROS's actions on this moon. What? Warning, the ship is severely damaged. I am attempting to... Oh shit. Oh shit, ROS attack vessels have appeared in the orbit and opened fire on your dropship. Fall back to landing site and prepare for the attack. What? They are coming this way. But we are going to be doing that in the next episode. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like, comment with the gameplay. Subscribe to the channel if you knew and you like what you see. And I hope that we will see each other in the next episode. So did it easy. Have fun. And happy gaming. Ta-da. Fuck me. I'm doomed.